The next two questions have to do with diet. Says Dr. Tony, I've been down the path of gluten and dairy-free diets as well as biomedical intervention with supplements like zinc. Does diet help behavior in children with Asperger's? This is the first question. I think it does warrant investigation. It doesn't cure. It may help the individual. We are identifying metabolic disorders, a risk for autoimmune disorders in the autism population. All sorts of things about the biology may be slightly different, and sometimes diet in what you take away or add in might be explored further. But again, this tends to be done by parents and people in an entrepreneurial way rather than a scientific way. Mm -hmm. I do know some families that have found gluten or casein-free diets successful, great, but others it's made no difference. So um, I wouldn't rule it out, but I, again, would urge some degree of caution. Okay. The next question is, I'm wondering how to know if a gluten casein-free diet is right for my son. He's had a yeast infection in his stomach at two months, which was followed by projectile vomiting for the first half of his life. Presently, he has no signs of intestinal pain, but he does have strange issues with food and eating. The reason I'm asking is because it appears a lot of autistic children throw tantrums and have certain behavior problems due to digestion. I want to know if an endoscopy would be appropriate just to check for abnormalities. Okay. As with the previous question, one of the previous questions, indigestion, etc., there can be the issue of the sensory quality of the food. That's a separate issue. When you've got gastrointestinal digestion problems, yes, they occur in ASD, but they also occur in other developmental disorders too. If you're concerned about it as a parent, I would go to the gastroenterologist for advice. Whether endoscopy would help, a medical decision will be based on the clinical description that you have. I think for peace of mind, you would probably want to do it just a case in case there is something there that may be dealt with. So mm -hmm. that really I would pass on to medical colleagues, the gastroenterologists, on an individual case-by-case -case basis. 